cost you $200 for travel to get here. So you can get here however you want. You can drive. You can fly. You can however you want. We'll pay you $200 to save your receipts. Um, and then, of course, you get that 200 for orientation as well. Um, so we we will so, have to we will have to find a way into getting in there, and then when we get there, we will get reimbursed for it. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's good? guys what's going on lockout man here in the background over here editing this video today uh i i, I want to I, I want to first say that i am glad that you guys are here to watch this and 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 listening to this uh uh call right here i i feel that this is one of one of the top calls that i have made to any companies this young lady that's coming up gave me the goods okay unfortunately uh there's no intro and then there's no outro and in the middle of the call the the sound crapped out on me i am so sorry i had to um i don't know what happened uh it's just uh, i am i am so sorry right now i am just so sorry um as I was going back and, you know, putting everything together for this video, uh, I come to notice that it was only 30 minutes of the of the audio that was presented on the outside recorder. You know what I'm saying? I don't use the audio that comes out of the computer. I use the outside audio so that I sync up everything. Unfortunately, that audio pretty much went out at the at about a 30 minute mark and i had to end up using the crappy sound which was which was so crappy uh i had to you know i, I cleaned it up just a little bit but it's only a little bit on going uh going out so unfortunately i wasn't able to uh give you guys the intro to this company and give you guys a proper outro to this company but i did get the call we did have a good uh had a good conversation um as you guys can see on the screen the call was made to gp transco so without further ado man let's go ahead and get into that call and again i apologize and thank you thank you thank you very much for watching and listening man well where should i start my name is shine uh i'm a five-year truck driver and i was just calling to see what uh what gp transco has to offer i mean i i looked i see all i see all you guys trucks out here and it's a particular youtuber you know talks about the company a lot and then there's a okay. lot there's a lot of stories about uh gp transco and one of which you guys just became like the number three uh like the number three top paying company yeah top paying company sure. so i i want to you know i want to do my research to see you know see what you of guys course. got to offer so if you don't mind I mean, course, if, if you don't mind I, I just have a few questions of your time if that's yeah. okay of course all right uh so can you give me a background uh a brief background of the company Sure. Let me um, ask you a couple questions just to make sure that uh, you know you're you're a good fit for us first. Um, you said you've been driving five years. You've yep. been driving the last twelve months without a break. Yep. Okay. And what kind of equipment have you been hauling mostly? Uh, mostly drive-in and reefers and tankers. All right. And uh, any tickets, accidents, uh, uh, roadside violations, anything like that? Nope. Nothing. No uh, roadside inspections where you got violated or nope. had an inspection and nothing. Awesome. Okay. And where do you live? I stay out of Ohio. Ohio. Okay. So first thing I want to tell you about is Ohio. You're going to be out on the road for three weeks at a time, and then we give you three full days home. Is that what you're looking for? That's that's uh that could be okay, that could be okay. All right. Like I said, right. I'm just so, um, I, like I said, I'm just doing my I'm just doing my research and my homework. Just, yeah. 
the shopping around. Got yeah. it. No problem. Yeah. Um, and I can give you a quick overview, and then what I can do is I can email you um, a packet that we have that's detailed. It, it answers like a gazillion questions that you may not have even you know thought of. It, you know, it goes over like detention pay, layover pay, and all those little nitty gritty details. Um, you know, and, and the point of this is we try to you know tell drivers everything in advance. Right. Uh, so that's uh, why you know, you know that's much opposite. Yeah, that's that's why you know probably the same the you know probably the same thing that's in the packet that you're gonna send me is probably the same questions that mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask and I I, I like to have uh I, I like to have right. uh right. you know like to have somebody to talk instead of I see a I see a question or I see something on there that I don't understand and then I gotta take time out to call you to clarify that back. so i rather oh, sure. i rather have it again. yeah i'd rather have it done like right now like i said it's, you know like i said i i don't like to you know i i don't like to take too much of your time so you know i i got maybe oh, like, no, sir, like that's what i'm here for i yeah. have all day for you if you'd like yeah <laughs> so uh, um so let me tell you let me let me tell you um you know a basic rundown of what we have to offer and then you can ask me um you know any specific questions that you may have, you know, okay. that are we can do that. your situation or, or, or something that you may hear that, you know, sounds like you have another question. So, all right, that'll work. Um, uh, we, pay, we pay all of our drivers 50 cents per mile. We pay on all the miles, uh, loaded and empty. And uh, here's one thing I like to point out to drivers is we do pay you address to address. We don't pay zip code miles, satellite miles, Grand McNally. We pay you address to address. So, okay. Um, I like to point it out because it makes a huge difference in a driver's pay, pay track, just that alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, pet peeve of mine, you know, guys are getting really screwed. Uh, okay, okay. Out of that mileage. So I like to point it out. Um, now, that being said, um, we do have additional ways that you can earn additional cents per mile, but that's always going to be your base rate. Um, 50 cents per mile, like I said. Can I? Now we have uh, can I, shop. Pro- can I touch on that for a second? Uh, the 50 cent yeah. a mile? Uh and I wonder why I'm I wonder why I'm touching on that because I'm reading the article as far as you guys being the 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 number three or number three top paying companies. But fifty cent a mile is is almost average now. So how is that how is that considered? You know, you guys being top okay, you know, well, top pay. It, it's average, sir. It's average. If first of all, it's not really average. Oh, okay. Um, marketing boy really but it's 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 average if if you know you get hired you're getting paid let's say ten dollars an hour to work Mm -hmm. at mcdonald's Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're getting paid ten dollars an hour that's the average going rate but you're getting the hours you know that you're going to work eight hours a day and you're going to make you know eighty eighty dollars that day Mm -hmm. this is companies will pay you know 50 cents a mile 55 cents a mile you're going to sit in your truck and you're not going to make any miles so they can tell you they're going to pay you a dollar a mile. So if you're not making the miles, you're not going to make any money. Okay. Okay. So, Honest. Um, honesty. We're I like that. We're, we're very that. different. Okay. Honesty. I you like know, that. You we, we don't, um, we don't, we don't, like, we're very different from the rest of the industry since you've done a little bit of research. What we've done is over many, many years, we've done a lot of interviewing of um, drivers and asking you know, hey, like surveying, hey, what, what is it that you hate about the industry? What is it that you keep leaving these jobs for? What, you know, what, what is it? And we changed it all. You know, we made it all better. So that's why uh, drivers stay. Um, they are happy. They get treated very well here. And uh, if you're a good professional driver, you know, you absolutely will make that, that, that $80,000 a year because um, it's being handed to you. And as long as you're a good, responsible, safe driver, absolutely there for any driver who's, who's, who's okay. qualified and uh, awesome. you know able awesome. to able to make it now now this is not an easy job sir you've been driving five years you must know that you know it's mm-hmm. a lifestyle it's difficult mm-hmm. um you know nobody works 70 hours a week i mean it's just you know unheard of in the rest of the world so you guys are, are very hard workers gp likes to you know, uh, capitalize on that. You know, when our drivers are good, they're they're on time. They pick up and deliver. They're responsible. They're professional. Uh, you know, those types of things all help the company become profitable. So we like to share all of those things back with the driver. Okay. So that's how you get that extra six cents every week. Um, but even if you took only the fifty cents, they just 
two and the fifty cents, we want to see you running five, six hundred miles a day, minimum. Okay. So fifty okay. cents times say six hundred miles a day. That's that's pretty close to almost eighty, seventy-eight something a, a year. Okay. Now okay. another way that we're backwards, it, uh, not backwards. <laughs> another way that we're different <laughs> is. Uh, the back end. Now, uh, sir, you know, we can have this great offer. You know, we pay this, we pay that. We have this great package for benefits. We have awesome insurance. Um, we have a great 401k plan. It's like the best of the best of all the things that companies offer. We, we, we go above and beyond to get the best of all of it. Now, um, that being said, if you get here and we've given you all this awesome package and the back end doesn't, you know, operations doesn't keep up their end, mm -hmm. then you're not going to make money and you're going to leave. So the reason, the way that we've combated this is our dispatchers are trained very differently than the rest of the industry standard. Uh, usually you have a dispatcher who's got about 60 and more, or more trucks that he has right. in his fleet that he has to cover those trucks every day. Right. You know, that's a, that's a hard job, 60 drivers every day. So... Our, our dispatchers only have 10 or less. So this gives them a completely different way to manage, um, you know, their, their drivers and their loads. He, he's got 10 drive trucks that took to worry about, so he knows, he knows where you're at. He knows, you know, you got five hours left and you're going to be dropping in, you know, New Jersey and, uh, you know, you, you got five hours remaining. I mean, they'll, they'll do their best to utilize all your hours of service. Mm -hmm. They, uh, work kind of one-on-one -on -one with you. So you kind of have to like earn your place doesn't take very long they they get to know you very well and they start to uh you know um give you what what you can handle and you know it, it works really well that way because you get like a one-on-one -on -one relationship then with your dispatcher okay that's what's I had a guy up. call me up the other day yeah he, he was working here already and he's thinking about buying a truck so he was calling you know to get some information and he said well if i get a new truck do i have to get a new dispatcher he doesn't want to leave his dispatcher because he feels like he just got lucky <laughs> and he has this great dispatcher but it's not the case the case really is that it's just the way that gp does things is completely different and that's really what propels us into you know a All better right. uh, up into the third top three company um All right, that's now all another way that we 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 do this is by uh uh we have fitting alarms in our truck so if your truck is waiting for a load for more than two hours, there's a alarm that goes off to our operations manager. You would come and find your dispatcher. Maybe you're like stuck in the middle of, you know, Timbuktu hmm. or something, Wyoming. I don't know. You know, and he's having trouble getting you out. He would give you another dispatcher so that you know you have double team trying to get you out of there quickly. Um, for whatever reason, if that were to fail, operations director gets involved. He's like oh. the VP of the operations. Okay, so take it real seriously. So, so sit sitting alarms, huh? Uh, yeah. So okay, sitting alarms. That's that's uh that's yeah. kind of cool. So so it, it keeps the truck moving. Okay. It, it, it's like uh, a delicate balance that we use for our dedicated customers against the spot market. So this this gives the dispatcher ability to keep your truck moving. You know what I mean? So um, we also have our own custom made software. This allows this to happen with the spot market and the, the dedicated routes. And, or uh, excuse me, lanes, and then um, you know this, this this gives that dispatcher that ability to okay, you got five hours left. It's just done in a completely different way. It works super well, and um, you know it, it provides the driver and the company both uh, with with profit. All right, so, so after it works really well. So after I you know of course fill out the application, get approved, and all that good stuff, um, it's time to come in. To, is it's time for me to come up to orientation. Uh, where is orientation located? What 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 might I have to bring, and how would you guys get me there? Okay, so orientation is held here in our brand new headquarter building in Joliet, Illinois. Um, we just recently moved into here after we got out of the lockdown. Uh, it's a brand new forty thousand square foot building that was headquarter building. Um, you would uh, utilize this for anything that you had going forward. Um, so it's a really nice building. It's filled with driver amenities. We have a basketball court, a gym. We have a uh, bathroom, shower, a kitchen. I mean, it's, it's decked out like okay. big time. <clears throat> so um, how it would work is you would get approved. We would set you up for orientation. 
Uh, usually we have them on Mondays and Wednesdays. It's a two-day process. Mm-hmm. Um, we do pay for orientation. It's $200, so it's a, a two-day process. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as getting here for orientation, we pay you $200 for travel to get here. So you can get here however you want. You can drive. You can fly. You can, however you want, we'll pay you $200 to save your receipts. Um, and then, of course, you get that 200 for orientation as well. Um, so you know, we we will have to we will have to find a way into getting there, and then when we get there, we will get reimbursed for it. Will we get reimbursed? Will we get reimbursed when we get there, or is that going to be reimbursed on the paycheck? It it normally is on your first paycheck, but if you're strapped for cash, I mean, we can certainly work with you. That's not an issue. If you needed it right away before you left. Um, we can take care of that during orientation. Oh, okay. Now, what generally, about- though, unless you unless you've asked for it in advance, generally it would go on your first pay. Paycheck. Okay. Uh, so what about what what? So mi- you get that four hundred, right? Oh, okay. So what might I have to bring with me when I when I come up for orientation? Yeah. So you would bring, um, you know, just your basic. We would have you do drug tests before you came. Somewhere near your house, I would set that up for you okay. prior, so we get that out of the way. Uh, hair, fo- um, hair, fo- DOT. hair follicle or urine? No, urine. Okay, okay, all right. No. We have uh, we have um, an onboarding team that would bring you through the rest of the process. So he he gives you a call usually, like if you were going to come Monday, he'd call you on Friday. He'll book your hotel room. He'll go over you know the schedule for orientation, answer your questions. And then um, he he will like send you some of the DOT paperwork mm-hmm. electronically, like uh, so that you can kind of get that out of the way. Just minimize his time in the office due to the okay. COVID, you know. Okay. Um, and it, and it helps keep things organized on day on day one. Uh, oh, sorry, you asked about what you had to bring. You just need to bring your CDL, medical card, social security card, um, and a blank check or routing account information for your okay. deposit. Okay. Awesome. Um, uh, stuff. I would bring as much as you could to bring in the truck with you. Um, mm-hmm. If you needed to go back home to pick up more things, uh, we can, you know, we can work that out with you once you arrive here. Mm-hmm. You would sit down with uh, operations prior to leaving, so you could let him know, you know, any operational preferences or anything that you have, or if you need to go back home and get your stuff. Okay, okay. Um, and you already said uh, that you you already said the start and pay for me will be like fifty cent uh fifty cent a mile. That is that fifty cent coming in the door or with incentives added into that? It's in the door. In the it's door. In the door. It's not up to. It's not nothing. It's fifty cent. Period. Awesome. Uh, in what, the door. What about yeah. a what about a sign on bonus? Which I I, I just say that's we don't have any sign on bonus, sir. We don't we don't need a sign on bonus. We are not other companies. We don't have a revolving door. You mm-hmm. won't see me chasing you around. Okay. I am. We don't we don't hire that way. Okay. We, if you have, you know, we're just a little selective. I I guess is the best word to, to okay. describe it. We're kind of like up there with Walmart. I mean, you got to have a very very good record to get in with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said you do, so that shouldn't be a problem. You said you have experience. Mm-hmm. Um, sounds like you'd be a really good fit for us, sir. I mean, it, it does, but we are a bit selective. So, I got um, you. I got as you. long as your record is clean and we've had a good conversation here, I've spoken to you. I think you'd be a good fit for us. Um, you know, usually we proceed from there. So, all right, what I don't a, see any problem with you are, getting approved as long as you don't have. I mean, a lot of times what happens is I ask, I ask, I ask, and drivers like, oh no, my record's clean, but. On your PST, you know, when you get pulled over for scale, you go through the scale, you get an inspection, and you got, like, put out of service for breaks or something, and nobody seems to remember this information. So gotcha. then they get disqualified because of that, and they don't even understand why. So I try to, like, phrase it differently so people understand. But I think you and I have got uh, – mm-hmm. I'm confident that you, you get what I'm saying, and you should yep. be fine. Exactly. Uh, are you – now, uh-huh. being that you guys is based out of Illinois – uh, a lot of companies uh-huh. that's based out of Illinois. Are you guys a 1099 or W-2? No, we're W-2. Oh, okay. And we would have full benefits. See, that's, where, that's, that's how I was going to say. Like, that's how, that's especially here in Chicago. I've been doing this for eight years. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially here in Chicago, that's, that's, that's the way you're going to get it. You know, full oh, 55 cents per mile. It's on a 1099. So you're not, you're, you're not really making Fifty-five cents per mile. You're not getting any taxes. You're not getting any benefits. No insurance. 
you know, uh, especially now during the pandemic, uh, you know, unemployment or or um, disability or any of those, those kinds of things. So exactly. it's, it's a scam or it's a marketing. We are all about telling the truth. And as a matter of fact, um, as I mentioned to you in the beginning of our call, I will send you an email with, with this packet so that, um, you know, just because we've discussed it all, I want to make sure that you have it in writing mm-hmm. so that, you know, you, you have uh, the things that I've told you here. These are true. You have it in writing now from the company. Um, and it, it, it allows you to be much more successful when you do come here because we've given you, like, all this information and all the tools that you need to, as a professional to be, be successful here. So it really works well. Okay, that's what's up. What uh, what uh, other what other things right. what what are, what other things are paid to the driver, as far as breakdown pay, holiday pay, detention, and layover? Yeah, that's all in the that's all in this packet. So we do we pay all of those things: pay, pay, uh, detention pay, layover pay, breakdown pay. Um, all of those things are are explained, you oh, know, okay. in the packet so that it doesn't get confusing. Well, I w- um, also. Oh, go ahead. I'm vacation sorry. Vacation pay we pay. Oh, um, vacation. We have six months, or excuse me, six months paid vacation. That would be so nice. <laughs> one week paid vacation after six months of employment with us, and then you get one every year at your anniversary day. We have six paid holidays per year. That's Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, those, you know, those six major ones. Mm-hmm. This is a really nice benefit because um, you'll get paid the, the holiday, whether you're out in the truck and you're getting mileage or you're at home with your, with your family. You get paid that extra holiday. Oh, okay. Um, either way. So well, I only have a, I only have, nice a, I, only have a, I only have a few more questions. Uh, one of which yeah. is, what's the what's the equipment that you guys have in your fleet? So we have 2018 and up Volvos and Freightliners. They're mostly Freightliners. I would say 70 to 80 percent of the fleet are 20 uh, 2019 and up Freightliners. They're okay. all really nice trucks. They all have double bunks they all have uh, uh, the bigger refrigerator okay they all have an APU or an EPU okay uh, a power inverter okay uh, they have built-in Wi-Fi we give you a tablet for orientation for your ELD so okay. we give you that it runs off Wi-Fi that's built out into the truck um, we have the state-of-the-art facility that you you know that you would be coming to for orientation so this is this is a large part of also why we continue to keep our drivers moving because our equipment is very well maintained okay um you know so when you do go and get those inspections um we'll those be able to mechanical pass them. things is yes, the is the wi the is, idea. is the wi-fi through through the tab well what's what's the eld tablet that you guys use people net uh oh Qualcomm. sam sarah oh sam sarah okay nope. uh yeah uh awesome. now, now let me ask you about the sam sarah as far as as far as that will uh, that will give us our ELDs and everything, but as far as our dispatch and everything else, would that come by way of email or would that come through the Samsara tablet? Um, actually, it comes. We have a uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, an app. It's our own driver app, DT driver app. So it, it all comes to you in the fancy app. It's got like a built-in transflow and. Um, pretty personalized for you as a driver so it gives you your stuff your load information it has all the information right there in this app so you could use it on the tablet or on your phone okay now i was about to ask uh about to ask that crazy question because if you guys one of us one of wanted us to download it onto our personal phone will we get some type of uh uh no. incentive for using our phones uh for for you know for the truck purposes and stuff like that no, we don't. You don't have to. I mean, you do have to use your. You do need to have a cell phone, right, so that we can communicate with you. Right, but right. We don't. You don't have to like install anything on your phone. You could use the tablet. Oh, okay. Um, okay. You know, because you, know, you don't a lot have of, to use your own data because there's Wi-Fi built in. So exactly. Uh, you know, and you know, for your own convenience. And you know, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of brokers like you to download a lot of apps, a lot of tracking apps on your oh, phone. Yeah. And all like that, no. and I, you know, you know, you're using my data for yep. for, for for that, nope. and I'm not getting compensated not cool. for it. So, you um, betcha. Nope. Yeah. What, not what's, what's your policies on uh, on on felons? 
Like, I'm not a felon. <laughs> Let's get that clarified. But uh-huh. what what are your uh-huh. what, what are your policies on felons? Because I do know I do know and network with a lot of drivers that does have that on their background. Um, it it depends on what it's for. If it's like you know drug related or something, then you know it's it's all they're all reviewed. We don't tell you no, you can't apply because you have a felony. Um, but I'll tell you. Like I said, we're pretty selective. We wouldn't, you know, if somebody has a felony from like 10 years ago because he was a young kid and, you know, got in a fight or something, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's going to be probably overlooked, but it sort of goes on a case-by-case basis, like depending on his work history, uh, you know, his MVR, uh, how long he's been at his job. It, it kind of tells the story, you know, on a driver. So we, we look at all of it. So definitely, you got to send us, you know, Whoever you get a you get a two thousand dollars sign on bonus if you send us drivers. Okay, well, thank you, thank you very much. I, you know, I I, I am enjoying my conversation right now and learning a lot more. Well, thank you. Uh, learning a lot more about GP Transco. I mean, I, like I said, I, I a lot of a lot of people on YouTube. You guys got a lot of accolades from from different trucking, uh, you know, outlets and stuff like that. And sure. I just wanted to give uh-huh. I just wanted to give a call for myself to you know, to find out more about the company so I can share it as well. Uh, my last qu- my last question deals with uh, deals with uh, driver safety, you know, in the light of all the stuff that's going on right now, Kenosha, Minnesota, Atlanta, Chicago. Uh, how do you guys, yeah. how do you guys keep, oh, keep, keep I'm the drivers? I'm so glad you asked that. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm no, no, so go ahead. That you asked that because this is such a cool answer, and I love this. So, um, we have what we call a war room. We have uh, live hot maps that all of our dispatchers. We have like one guy, a team of people who are in charge of this. So they're monitoring uh, activity throughout the day, and because I mentioned about we have this custom-made software, mm-hmm. those sitting alerts and everything. So the software allows them to reroute the driver to stay safe away from all of this stuff. So okay. it's, it's been amazing to watch that. I mean, we've had zero problems. We've had no drivers being concerned for their safety because they're being, they're like so thankful that this dispatcher is just, you know, on top of it. They, they don't have to worry about it. They don't have to look at, find out, oh my God, I'm driving into a bad spot because the guy's already on top of it beforehand. Okay. So it's really sophisticated way of doing that. I'm glad that's a really good question. All right. Yeah. What about... But you know what, sir? I didn't catch your name. Shine. S-H-A-U-N. Shine. What's, uh, what's your policies on firearms, though? Firearms? Yes. They're not allowed. Oh. Uh, that's just... I mean, it's... It's a very... I don't even know how to... <laughs> find the right word for that one. I mean, mm-hmm. I agree with you. I'm, I'm all for the, the Second Amendment, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're a driver, you must know what a lot of your peers are not, you know, um, as good and professional driver as you are. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of crazy stuff goes on in this industry. So um, if you have that kind of thing going on, you're going to see a lot of... I, I heard yesterday on the news that there was like a truck driver and a, a car got out of their car both of them, they were fighting on the road, got out of the car, started. Man, oh man. Sitting here editing the best call that I ever made to a company. Only for the fucking sound to crap out on me, man. I am so heated. So heated. I apologize profusely for to you guys that the sound in this next session of the video is going to be so damn crappy. I tried to clean it up uh, a little bit so that, you know, that we can, you know, so that I can at least finish out the call. And, uh, and yeah, uh, again, my humbles apologies for the crappiness of the sound. All right, let's get back to finish up this segment. physically. And then but, you know, I mean, it's that just, first of all, there's DOT regulations and there's laws, interstate laws, you know, for um, concealed carry. It's just, you know, 
the company would does not want to go anywhere near that. I got you. I got you. And I, I appreciate that. That's uh, I appreciate your answer on that. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. being that, yeah. being that you are very selective for, you know, drivers, uh, that you, that you want to, that you want and that you want to drive for, y'all must have a low turnover rate. We have the lowest turnover rate in the country. Okay. And that's why, because we don't, we don't need to, we don't have a revolving door like the rest of the company or the rest of the industry. They're going to lie to you and tell you whatever you need to hear to get you in that truck because First of all, the recruiters getting commission, and uh, you know they need to fill those trucks. It's more important for them to fill that truck right now and get it moving than than the safety of their company or their driver, you know, or anything else. So, so that's the the story behind that. We don't operate that way. We're extremely safe company. Much more interested in in me taking the time to get to know our driver in advance, kind of get a feeling for him, make sure that he's going to be a good fit. He's going to be a guy who's looking for a good future. He's looking for a guy who, who you know, uh, needs good benefits because he's a good professional driver. Those are the guys we want. We, we're concentrated on getting those guys, uh, like yourself, you know, so that our company is filled with those kinds of drivers. And you have a safe company. We, we can offer all these great things to our, our drivers. We don't have those, you know, those other things that are pulling us down in a negative way. That's what's up. All right. Well, that's that's all I have. I I mean, wow. I, all right. That's all I well, have. I like that. Sean. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You know what? Check out this email because it's gonna it's gonna give you a lot more info too. So you can call me back if you have more questions too, nope. if you want. My nope. phone number's gonna be on the bottom there. Okay. No problem. Searching, 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 and searching, searching, searching. searching.